Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about IDEs and text editors for Groovy. So for doing programming in Groovy, we need a platform where we can write the Groovy code and run it and check the results. So for that, we need either IDE or text editors. Now IDE is integrated development environment so id stands for integrated development environment and it is a platform that provides us all the features that we need to write our code compile it run it check the results and many other features for that particular programming language and text editors also provide us a platform to do our coding however text editors have a little less features than ide and ide is a complete platform now for groovy if i go to google and i'll search for groovy and i'll go to the official website of groovy which is this groovy-lang.org and here i'll go to the documentation and if you go to the documentation you will find under tools you will find this link ide integration so i will go here and here you can see the groovy language is supported by lots of IDEs and text editors and here is the list I will also make this link available in the notes and these notes will be available with this video so you can refer it so here you can see we have a lot of IDEs and text editors that support groovy so we have Eclipse we have IntelliJ IDEA NetBeans Groovy Emacs Mode TextMate Vim UltraEdit SlickEdit edit rocket vs code now in case you are already using any of these ides or text editors you can continue using that you can just go to the documentation and see how you can integrate or add groovy plugin and then get started with groovy in this series i am going to cover eclipse and i am also going to cover vs code so Eclipse is a IDE and a VS Code is a source code editor and I'm going to cover uh, both of these in the next session and in case you want to use any other IDEs like IntelliJ you can just go to this documentation here and it will give you all the steps to uh, get started with Groovy so you can just go here and then you can have uh, Groovy support and once we have Groovy support for the IDE, we will start with our basic Groovy programming. So in the next session, I'm going to cover Eclipse and then I'm going to cover VS Code. And then we will start with our basic Groovy programming. I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.